Hey guys, hey guys, hey, welcome back to the channel, Zoda of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. So, as the title says above, this is going to be another one of those Bible unboxings, first impressions video. And if you haven't already seen my double unboxing, click the I to go to that video because that's what these are. Uh, next two videos will be about and so this video is going to be on the hebrew greek keyword study bible that i was gifted from janika i hope i'm saying it right um i think i said it right in that video but hopefully i'm saying it right again and so yeah i got this um and i am so loving it and so i did get mine off of amazon for about 38 dollars you can get it on christianbook.com for about 35 um, but yeah, I paid about 38 for this. This is a hardcover in the NKJV. You can get this in the ESV, the NASB, the KJV, um, the CSB, and is there another one? The NASB. But I, of course, got the New King James because that's the translation I prefer and I love. Um, this comes in hardcover for all of them, but I know for a fact that the NKJV also comes in black and burgundy leather and you can get it with a thumb index or without the thumb index but I just went with the classic hardcover it doesn't bother me and so um yeah this was published by AMG Publishers in 2015 if I'm not mistaken um it's about nine and a half by seven and a quarter I think so it's like nine and a half long um by seven and a quarter wide this does have red letter text we love that um apparently it also has wide margins as you can see on the sides wide margins for like journaling the text itself is a non-point font and i believe the notes are about an eight point font and um yeah there's no ribbon i heard yeah there's no ribbon in here which kind of sucks but um i am now going to pretty much just flip the camera around we're gonna unbox this unwrap it together um and just go through it um and i'll probably do some highlighting and some marking to see how it handles pins and so we can just flip the camera around right now and get to it all right guys so here it is the bible the hebrew greek keyword study bible bringing the original text to life um and so what i'm going to do first is rip off this saran wrap okay so i have my scissors ready to roll I'm just gonna um Go sideways so this is a uh, an official like first impressions i don't even watch videos i normally watch videos on it but i decided not to so this could be like an initial real first impression so ooh, ooh, that's pretty now again like i said you can get the leather edition ooh. you can get the leather edition if you so choose i just didn't want to do that um, because I wanted to be able to get two Bibles, and so I was able to get two Bibles thanks to Janika. Um, and so we have this, and so I'm going to take off this little, like, sleeve thing. Um, and I guess we can read through it together, right? And so it says, now includes keywords coded to Strong's and AMG dictionaries. I do have a Strong's concordance. I don't have an AMG's dictionary. Um, there are dictionary entries for every word of the Bible text. Keywords identified in their original meanings explained. Introductions for every Bible book. Helpful footnotes and center columns with cross-references. Wider margins for notes, which means it's similar to a journaling Bible, which is great. Um, and red letter addiction. There is Beth Moore on here who has blurbed it, and I don't know who this is. Again, it's New King James Version. That's the version that I have. Um, AMG Publishers and KJV. And then on the back, um, you get a preview of what it looks like. And so um, here it is. They're showing you a gospel, red letter text. Um, and yeah, so this is everything that you can see. So I don't understand any of these things. Like it says multiple superior letters. I'm not sure. Superior numbers. Inferior. I don't know. So I'm going to have to read this Bible thoroughly through um, to figure out the whole gist of it but um yes here she is i like the cover it's not really bad at all it's not bad to me at all most of the times i do prefer like a leather edition if i could get one but i kind of like hard covers as well because they have like nice pretty um covers on them and so this one is just a key with a um door lock so that's really nice and i like that you can see through it and see like the sun rising that's gorgeous so oh okay so i got some stuff in here i didn't know that um, so this looks to be like a bookmark, um, grammatical codes to, ooh, can you see that, to the grammatical notations. I have no idea what any of this is for, so I'm going to, uh, okay, so feminine gender, um, noun, got it, plural, 
singular okay okay i think i get it i think i get it i've seen this on the um websites that have uh like uh digital sorry <laughs> concordances um and this is keyword study bible guarantee okay i'll keep these two to to the side um with the cover of it and i'll look closer at that later down the line um but yeah these of course you can decorate i'm probably just going to post a prayer on this side and decorate with stickers on this side um keyword study bible key insights to god's word in kjv new king james version i'm going to actually put the information in here um the same information i put in the other bible right here so that i know who got it for me um the, the presentation page your main title page copyright information so like i said you can get it in the leather black or the leather burgundy and it can come regular or with the thumb index and oh there's a cloth bound as well i didn't know that so you have four different versions for this translation um then you have the amg preface the nkjv preface um a tribute how to use the pages and the features and then the old testament new testament and then some other things down here such as a scripture index uh amg's annotated strong's old and new testament concordances color maps so we'll get to all of that i guess so as you guys saw i'm just now looking at this for the first time and so Sorry about that, guys. My son had called me, so I had to answer. But, um, yeah, the preface still talks about devotional quality, the style, the format, and stuff like that. Um, so we have that. Then the tribute to that person. Don't know who that is. Um, ooh, these pages. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, so this is probably going to give me a headache the first time through. Um, so it basically tells you what's going on on the page. So you have your introduction. Uh, for each of the books at the beginning red letter text of course the underlining is used to identify the key english words or phrases um and they have a strong's number that appears right next to it so that is interesting okay you have the nkjv cross references so the little letters that are in front um correspond to the cross references in the middle you have multiple superior letters, which I'm assuming goes with this grammatical code, right? Yeah, okay, so the, it goes with the grammatical code. Not sure what that's what's that about, but yeah, I'll figure it out. Um, then you have sectional headers, which are, of course, the NKJV always has. You have um, multiple numbers. So if it has like the concordance number plus another number, um, it indicates that a word or phrase is a translation of more than one word in the original language. Textual footnotes at the bottom. Um, the key symbols. Oh, okay, so there are symbols with keys. Interesting. Um, they identify expl explanatory notes at the bottom. Okay. I probably just said that word wrong, whatever. Um... <laughs> Numbers and bold face types are used in the AMG dictionary that's in the back. And, um, okay. Oh, so they, okay, so there are concordance numbers, but also related to the dictionary in the back. And then, um, cool. Okay, I, again, I probably sound like I'm confused because I just got this Bible, so we just gonna flow with it right right cool amg key feature the features um books of the bible and then old testament your abbreviations cool so let's go to genesis first oh nice thick introduction love that space on the side i love that space on the side that's gonna give for some good writing good writing Um, trying to turn the page. Sorry. It's like not turning, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. So here is what... Okay, that is a lot of interesting information. Oh, my eyes. I know I'm going to love it, but looking at it for the first time, I'm just like, oh, what is going on? And so you have your two key symbols here with the keys at the bottom, which give you, I guess, those explanatory notes. Um, and as you can see, the beginning is underlined, um, and then you have your concordance number. Your cross references are here. Your footnotes are here. So like I said, this is a nine point font and then the notes itself are gonna be an eight point font. And I'm assuming the cross references and the footnotes are either gonna be a seven or a six. Um, they look to be maybe a six. 
but we have that and so i'm going to test some highlighting in here okay i'm going to first start off with uh the art 101 creative tools brush pen from um five below and of course i'm going to do the infamous 126 127 and so it says then god said let us make man in our image according to our likeness and so that's what i'm marking and right now i don't know if i'm gonna have a set color coding system in here probably not because yeah um so let's see how that came oh that's lovely that is lovely you barely can see anything with that that is amazing okay so here it is can you guys see highlighted here nothing on the back no shadowing or anything and so that is amazing and so the art 101s work really well you can get them in the pastel colors which i have the pastels let me um show you guys pastel colors i have but they also have them in the original bold colors as well that you can get them in and so these are for the win solid solid highlighters to use um and then i'm going to go with the mild liner brush tip from um zero <laughs> and i'm gonna do 27 so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Cool. And so this color is in mild... What's the color? Where is it at? Can't see the color name. Okay, it doesn't say. But if I'm not mistaken, this is a mild green. This is mild green, if I'm not mistaken. Again, this is the brush tip. It is different from the original highlighters, which look like that, okay? Chisel tip, brush tip. Love the brush tip for calligraphy and things like that. And so, picking up, you guys can see I highlighted it here. And um, looks great on the back to me. So, the brush tips seem to be good for the win. Um, and so, yeah, we like the layout. I like how easy it is. Of course, I need to get used to the setup of this Bible, but so far I'm loving it. And so let's go ahead to um, Psalms. Psalm 91, my favorite scripture, my favorite psalm, my favorite psalm. And I'm going to try some more. I'm scared to actually try these highlighters. <laughs> I am terrified to try these highlighters, but I'm going to try. And so two other highlighters I'm going to try are the Sharpie S-Note and the Mildliner Original Zebra um, Highlighter. Um, I don't know if I want to try this color. <laughs> Let me see if I have another color to try that's lighter than this, because I, I know all my other colors. Mm, all right, so yeah, all my other colors I keep inside of this pouch specifically for my Bible color coding key. And so I'm not going to use those. So I'll just, okay, we'll stick to that. And so I am going to, <laughs> you know, I'm going to go to Psalms 1 because I don't want to mess up um, Psalm 91, my favorite verse. No, Psalm 1, I love, I love, love, love Psalm 1. And so I'm going to start with the S-Note um, highlighter from Sharpie. It's the Sharpie S-Note highlighter. Um, they say these are markers. They're highlighters to me. I don't really care however people see them. Um, let me just fix some stuff over here. And um, and so I'm going to mark, blessed is a man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. So let's see. Blessed is a man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the paths of sinners. Oops. Um, that actually looked really nice. It didn't look like it was too crazy. It might be some bleeding. Yeah, okay. So I've noticed with Sharpies that you're going to get that um, sort of bleeding at the tips as you can see right there you're gonna get that bleeding there's nothing you really can do with that about that but it's not bad if you use the light colors so that's not too bad right and then so the s notes are pretty okay they're okay compared to using them in the other bible i reviewed the other day um and so i'm gonna now use the mount liner one this is in the color i can't remember but i'm not gonna use a chiseled i'm gonna use the fine point side that side um, and we're going to mark, um, two. So I'm going to highlight it, but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law, he meditates day and night. I'm not sure how that's going to look. Let's see. Yeah. Same kind of thing. So I would honestly just stick to brush tip highlighters. And markers in here um you can kind of see it it's not too bad but you definitely can see it um showing 
so there is shadowing no bleed through the s notes will give you bleed, bleed through um but not bad at all not bad at all i really do like this um so let me go to psalm 91 and see how they have that Like I said, this is a first impression. It's not a full review because I, like as you can see, I don't even know what this Bible is about. I've heard about it and I wanted it for a very long time. And so, um, you know what? Let's do a quick um, look, right? At the concordance in the back. And so, Most High, it has right here. Pick you guys up a little bit. So, Most High it has the number... 5945 in bold right 5945 you see that letter a and so the letter a goes to the um con the not the concordance the cross reference and so you would look for psalm 91 verse 1 over here and then the letter a corresponds to these cross references here from psalms and then the 91 um one here we're gonna go to verse 3 and you can see that little number one right here corresponds to the little footnote at the bottom so it's pretty good and so i'm gonna go to 59 45 in the back i'm probably going to have to um oh this is set up like the thompson chain reference because that's how the thompson chain reference is in the back it has those numbers at the top can you guys see it has numbers at the top and so 59 right 59 45 make sure i'm not bugging yes 59 45 let's go to 59 that's 53, 55. Okay, maybe I'm bugging. 59, 45. I do not see 59. Oh, New Testament. Ha. Huh? So that's New Testament. We have to go to Old Testament. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely going to have to... Um, separate the new testament versus old testament which is fine because i have thousands and thousands of um tabs that i can use so that doesn't bother me so 59 45 59 31 59 45 okay we found it 59 45 is here so it gives you the word and everything so that's interesting 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 okay so we have that so that's the old testament dictionary and then if you go further you'll get the new testament dictionary can you guys see yes you can see um and it's alphabetized apparently is there anything else in here just gonna check and then you have your concordance as well scripture index so i'm gonna come back to these in a second so this is pretty much like the thompson chain reference you just focused on um, definitions and so i'm gonna go ahead to the new testament quickly i like that red that red is really nice Ooh, that's a nice red nice nice red um so again, New Testament section here, you have Matthew introduction, you have scriptures here with your um, cross references in the middle and then your footnotes at the bottom. And if there is a key note, um, it will indicate a key with the note at the bottom. Can you guys see this now? Like I said, it will indicate a key with a note at the bottom. Okay. Um, so we have that. I'm trying to get to a page with a lot of red letters. So here's the red letter text, really nice red lettering. Um, you guys can see up close really gorgeous red letter really like that and it's easy to read from it's really nice um i think if you had the leather bound it would be really gorgeous so we have that um and so after revelation obviously you get your bible study helps section which again is similar to the thompson chain reference if you haven't seen my video for that click the i i do have an updated part two coming it's coming i don't know when but it's coming <laughs> um so you get your weights and measures and monetary units of course grammatical codes with the notations i have to read through all of that and that's what this uh little thing goes to as well you have your scripture index uh to the footnotes and introduction so it goes book by book um so genesis then you get your verse chapter and things like that so that's nice um let's go to the next page 
then you get your concordance and abbreviation so your old testament new testament abbreviations and then of course going into your concordance and the concordance is great if you cannot remember a, a scripture in its totality um but you can remember a few words you go back here and say if you remember the scripture and, and it has the word abide you can look at abide and then look through and see um which verse you're looking for so it's great as a verse finder pretty much when you're trying to remember um specific words so they have a pretty hefty concordance here not as big as a regular concordance of course but for this i think this is a good size um concordance here that's really that's a thick concordance okay then you have your amg annotated strong's hebrew dictionary of the old testament so hebrew contents hebrew values special symbols abbreviations and then you go directly into um the dictionary so that's the old testament and let's see how far okay so all of this is ooh. the paper is like thin but it's a nice coated kind of feel i don't know what's weird to say but this is all of the old testament and then you go into the new testament so yeah i'm definitely gonna have to come in here and separate the show luckily i do know some greek some alphabet so um you then have that you get the notes pages um which is nice and actually where's my um thompson chain real quick sorry guys i have to find that real quick but um you get the notes pages which is great of course you can put your information if you need to then you go into your full color maps, which are the basic maps that everyone gets. Um, the world of the patriarchs, the 12 tribes, the kingdoms of David and Solomon. Um, the kingdom of Israel and Judah, the Assyrian Empire. the Israel, Israel in the time of Jesus, the New Testament, Jerusalem, and then the uh, missionary journeys of Paul. And you just get that end page. And so um this is definitely going to be a bible i know i'm going to love once i get the use of it um and the understanding of how it works and so of course i'm gonna do my video research i'm going to make sure that i understand this and really get use out of it for myself and then of course after maybe a month or two i'll come back and do a video sharing with you guys how i've been using it how it's been working for me and my official thoughts but so far i am definitely pleased with it um i it is a lot but i mean i have a thompson chain um reference bible i have the dakes annotated bible so i mean what can get more complicated than those bibles i don't know and so it's just a matter of actually getting used to the bible using the bible and learning the different parts of it um the cross references in the bottom in the middle don't bother me um the footnotes don't bother me the little uh, key points the key notes don't bother me i do need to understand it more um it's really just understanding the letterings not the letterings but the numbers with the words underlined and so um yeah i think this is great for me to take if i'm like going to my friend's house i don't got to take my concordance and three thousand bibles i can take this one bible and just go to her house right and so um yeah this seems like it's going to be really really great i'm definitely going to utilize it and see what i can get out of this gorgeous beauty and again thank you Janique, janica for um getting this for me i really really appreciate it so much and um that is pretty much it for this video so i'm gonna stick all this back in here and i would recommend you guys check it out i'll leave links down below to amazon as well as to cbd um for you guys to get it and um so far first impressions i think it's a great bible it looks to be a great bible i know my sis angela has this bible and loves that bible um and she's the reason why i really wanted to get my hands on this bible um because i use y'all y'all know how i do i set out thousands of bibles and i use a concordance and all that all the time and so this is great for like on the go if i'm going away on vacation or um what i'm going to be implementing this year is like every two or three months i'm going to go spend a weekend at a hotel and so if i don't want to take thirty thousand bibles with me i can take this one bible and not my concordance right this i think this with the thompson chain reference as well as the dakes annotated great bibles to take um because they all have those 
key information that I need and I'm not going to need to take a thousand other Bibles with me and so um here we have this I love it it says bringing the original text to life I think that is true um she thick she thick for show <laughs> But um, again, you can get this in the black or burgundy leather with or without thumb index. Um, you can get it in the hardcover or the cloth bound. And so, yeah, I'm glad I got it. Thank you again to Janika. And if you guys are interested, links are below. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.